working our way up to Elgin, uh, trying to find some a bit more somewhere a bit more warmer. So up near the coast is a bit warmer. Uh, and we're just driving through Grant's Town on Spay. We came here last New Year, and it's an absolutely fantastic place, isn't it? Yeah, we didn't have a full look around, did we? But we did. We did stop here for New Year's Eve, didn't we? Hogmanay. Now, a few of you have contacted me this time and said that you you've, you've actually come up this year after seeing our vlog last year, and you've really really enjoyed it. And thanks for letting us know about it. Our pleasure, because it is really really a nice town. Very traditional, again, and plenty of independent shops. I think that's our lady who put our cups for us. <laughs> this time you find us in the lovely, sunny <laughs> town of Elgin in Scotland. Elgin. And we are stood outside the Elgin Cathedral, what's left of it, but it is still quite stunning to look at. There were some lights on a minute ago, so there's some inside still left. Or is there? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Built in 1224 this, not a lot of it left, but there is still some peace. I think they're renovating like usual. Chico's freezing. We have come to Elgin for one reason, and that's to defrost the van. We were froze up, weren't we? we yeah, in the last, last vlog you saw. We were all frozen, weren't we? The yeah. water pipes. Yeah, so we couldn't even wash our hands, so enough's enough. So we, we drove 40-ish miles north, um, and we are about three or four miles from the coast, but we looked yeah. on the weather map, and it was a few degrees warmer, and before we even got here, we defrosted, didn't we, all the pipes? So yeah. So we're back up and running now. And today is a big day in Scotland. It's January the 11th, and it is... Chinese Day. No, it's not Chinese Day. It's the burning of the... Is it Clavy? There's a town just up the coast and they walk through the town with a big massive clavy that's burning and it's good luck to get the embers from it. So that's their official New Year tonight. Mm. In, many years ago, 400 years ago, they didn't use to celebrate on New Year's Eve. This is the official start of the year for them, so I hope they all have a good night tonight. We're going to head off into Elgin, see yep. what we can see. Apparently there's a few historical places here. So if the rain stays off, we can show you. Yeah, we're going to have a look, see what we can find there. just found out that it's £10 to go into that cathedral if you yeah. want to go and look at them ruins. I think that's quite expensive, that, to tell you the truth. You're supporting it, aren't you, and the big upkeep of whatever's left of it. But you but saw what there was, there wasn't much. Most of it's a graveyard, isn't it? Depends what you're into, doesn't it? It does. I mean, people probably travel from all over the world to come and look at that, but, you know, we, we've seen it, haven't we? So. Yeah, you can see it from the roadside. And there's supposed to be another spectacular place as well called Lady Hill. Now Lady Hill, they're supposed to build, it says castle on the hill. Right, I can't see a castle, so I'm not sure what that's about. We'll try and find that as well. Yeah, we're parked through there, aren't we? We are. Just down the way. A Just bit. in a pain display. It's, it's quite cheap, isn't it? Yeah, a pound for a day, uh, per day, so free overnight. Can't, can't beat that, can you? It's quiet enough near down near the library, wasn't it? Yeah, very quiet. So I, I do believe the town's just up here. No, it's damp here, isn't it? Because it's because it's warmer. It's, the weather's damp, and it? it's about seven degrees. So I was saying this morning, wasn't it? <laughs> Nearly tropical. <laughs> it's about it was about at the worst about minus seven, minus eight, and it's so it's like a good lot lot warmer, isn't it? Actually, yeah. compared to what it has been. Now, even though Elgin's got a cathedral, it used to be a city, I suppose, but now it's yeah. definitely a town. It's probably because the cathedral's no longer working. I was just saying, wasn't it, earlier on when we saw the state of the cathedral them years ago in 1200, whenever it was all the effort put building it and we haven't looked after it and I, and I know ageing it but people have always been alive to keep the care of it there might have been a fraction where it was damaging some kind of war and they well, could redo it we found a lot of that on our travels haven't we even down to like the castles and things like got parliament way way back to ordered them um, to be sort of discontinued or well, dismantled yeah destroyed it's all basically. down to religion isn't it? different religions yeah anyway we found the town but look at these little monument here just sat on its own this is called the High Street. I wonder if this is like the old High Street, Mark. Looks like it might be. Look at museum. Just yeah, come across the this. Museum, yeah. Right? yeah, Elgin, Elgin museum. museum. Must be all about Elgin then. We've, we've been a few places and you get these sort of things. Some places are called them uh, 
Welcome to Colwyn. Yeah. Can't think of the Colwyn. <laughs> well, it's uh, a north, south, east, west part looks of it, isn't it? Well, Another big building behind you as well. As well. Yeah. Plenty of parking in Elgin. It's good for parking, isn't it, Mark? Yeah, it's cheap as well, isn't it? Yeah, a lot cheaper than where we have been. For seven days, it was five pounds or something. So. Yeah. St Andrews were expensive. That's a that's a nice building to let, isn't it? Yeah. And then you go to the next one, it gets even better. Look at that. Yeah. What, what what we did also notice here, there's no them signs that say no overnight parking. So mm. we've noticed that around the Cairngorms, having more. I don't yeah. know what's gone off. Well, I think I do know. We what's do gone know off. what's gone off. It's um. I think some people's been taking the Mickey, maybe. So. Yeah, I think some people have been very naughty and they've spoiled it for everyone else because everywhere that we went last year, you could park where you wanted well, we're to. Not more, but now everywhere. I think the only real place for three hours in Aldi, wasn't it? So three hours, but the, the parking place at the top there, we, where, where we went uh, near the ski resort, that was still open. Yeah. And there were no overnight, no no overnight signs there. But the car parks coming down from there, you have no chance. The Forestry Commission have put signs everywhere, so and having more, not a chance. So I just think on if you're coming up here. So it looks like I found the charity shop street because in front of me is an ox farm and I can see right up there oh, a cancer research one. shop. Oh god. China Garden, is there a menu on that? Again, Mark's snouts put him in the right way. It's not open, Mark. There's a menu on the wall, Mark, inside. You've no chance. What? You've got a vision to be able to see that. Can you not see? So, oh, yeah. So it's two pounds. You should be able to see. Oh, there's no menus for you to have a look and see how much it is. China Garden. Here in Elgin. <laughs> Everywhere you go, you can guarantee, if you're partial to Chinese food, you can guarantee that you're always going to get something. More or less. Look what I found. But I am told further north we go. Never mind what you found. I'm told further north we go. The more no, expensive it gets. Well, there's no Chinese right up in north where we got hopefully going. So. Well, there probably isn't, is there? It's yeah. probably the last thing they want in the little villages. But I found Oxfam, mm -hmm. and over there, cancer research. There you I'm go. going in. No, nothing in Oxfam for me. But what have you found? Weather spoons. First the one very we've seen first in... one we found, isn't it, in Scotland? Since. Well, ages, isn't it? Ages, yeah, we haven't been long there. Because we're a good way up now. If you look on the map where we're at in Elgin, near Lossie Mouth, we're, we're classed as Northern Scotland, aren't we? So Northern is in the north. I didn't think there were that many up here, so there <laughs> obviously isn't because we haven't seen them anywhere else. Yeah. So we're going to go over to the cancer research shop now because uh, it's next to Web Spoons anyway. I'll see if I can get anything in there. So I'll stand outside. Maybe. There's a banana was down here if you want to go down there first. I'm into Bernardo's and I'm definitely getting this. Brand new, 20 pound. And look what else I've spotted. No face, but it's too small. Gutted, 20 pound. How did that sell? Yeah, there's all sorts in there, isn't there? Mm. That's, I'm gutted for that though. Well nice, that, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But that's coming home with me. How much is that? 20 pound. Mm -hmm. So Lisa strikes again, another bargain, another bargain. DKNY top, brand new, £20. Well, it's a hoodie actually, so, and it's going to be light enough for when the summer, summer months come as well, so it's not heavy, and I can wear it for bad days and good days. It's bent up. Yes, and got you some socks as well, aren't you, yeah, lucky man? I like them socks, they're soft at the top, so. Soft top socks. They don't dig into your legs. The ones I put on now aren't doing actually. Do you know? It must be awful getting old, Mark. Yeah, not as old as you. Right, so Mark's found something here while I've been in the charity shop. What's this? It's called Shepherd's Close and it nearly touched the ceiling. It's like a little passageway through, isn't it? And there's owners at the top and workers and stuff used to live up there, didn't they, years ago? Yeah, yeah. apparently so. There was a chap called John Shanks who was well known. I think he lived up, up there. John Shanks? And the key theatre, what you saw earlier on, he was tasked with clearing the rubble away. It's obviously been... We'll find out eventually what's happened with the cathedral, but he was tasked with clearing it away to start the restoration. So he lived up there, did he? Yeah. yeah. Fascinating. There's so many of these. I'm sorry, it says, it says on that sign there. I should have a look at oh, that yeah, sign. Oh, yeah, look. This is number 35. There must be like a walk leash, so that's number 35. Yeah. He was known as the Droughty Cobbler. Toiled for years clearing rubble from the cathedral. 
And now they've got a pub named after him, haven't they? Yeah. Fascinating. I love finding little things like that. Well done. Just attached to this old building here, isn't it? Yeah. Attached to a state agents now. <laughs> yeah, it's quite a lot of history, isn't it? Already, what yeah. Seen, well, we're walking up to something now in the town. I don't, don't know what it is, but it looks very old. <laughs> so Chico's just seen this dog and he wants to. He's dying to get to it. It's a statue, Chico. Look. <laughs> He's thinking it's real. <laughs> Are you alright now? <laughs> He's sniffing it like a dog. Mm -hmm. So what's all this about then, this drummer man? Let's go and find out. Might be something on here. This is what I run about when I saw some historical up the way. It's like a big clock tower, isn't it? It's definitely touristy here, isn't it? It's definitely stuff to look at. A town of closers. Closers. That's, right. That's what you're on about, isn't it? Yeah. Look at Johnny Frosty. He looks scary, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> That's what we're looking at now, isn't it? Yeah, that tower, yeah. And that's the back of it, that big piece there. So. Yeah. It's like it splits the town in half, doesn't it? Yeah. It's like a big eye, isn't it? Looks like if you look at it all the way around. I'm trying to find out what this drummer man's about. Here he is. Oh, there used to be a man who... I, I read somewhere about this when we were doing a bit of research. There used to be somebody who banged the drum or did the drummer or something, so... I can't remember what the story was, actually. I know that that town drum is in that museum that we saw down the way. Oh, yeah, town drum. Look at the people there, look. That's just where we're stood now, isn't it? Yeah. Round that, right round where, where we are stood now, they were stood where, aren't they? I'm surprised we can't see you on that picture, Lisa. How many years old is that? Just spotted a shop now that I know you're going to like, Mark. And it's not a charity I'm, shop. I'm it's not a Chinese. I'm not that much of a fan of just playing shortbread. I might let them chocolate ones with caramel in and stuff. But. Ooh, look at that. A proper traditional. Walker's shortbread shop. Look at that, just shortbread everywhere. Mmm. Shortbread fingers. It's not hard to remember what you sell there, is it? Island cows, look. Right. Shortbread island cows. Oh, yeah. Mm. So we've just come across this as well. This is one of the oldest buildings on the High Street. And everyone's built around it now, by the looks of it. Looks like it, doesn't it? It's now a chartered surveyor's, isn't it? Chartered accountant. So. All right. How old is it? 1600, isn't it? 1600, 1634. And some lucky people have had a pendant there. Can you see it there? <laughs> That's got uh, a man and wife's initials in it. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Interesting. I yeah. Just spoiling it at the moment, isn't it? But... In England, you get blue plaques everywhere. Up here, they've put like little council plaques telling you about the history of each building. Yes. Very informative. Just the weather's spoiling it at the minute. Oh, it? well, weather's weather, isn't it? You can always get dry. Well, we've just seen the chip shop back there, haven't we, called the Northern Fish Restaurant. It's, it's like very old-fashioned, isn't it? Yeah, but it's got, like, sweets shop and chip shop and everything. I'm going to get something, but there's nothing cooked, is there? So. No. And directly opposite... You've seen this, haven't you? Chinatown. To let we could rent that, Lisa. What, are you going to cook? Yeah, and I cook and eat. There'd only be one thing on menu, chicken fried rice. Let's have a look anyway, see how much it is. The front walking anyway, haven't they? I don't know. Well, it's very rare you see a Chinese shut down, isn't it? So it must be very good. To, to let me sell. Look. May sell? <laughs> They're gone, Lisa. I'm letting you pick it in mail up. I'm looking for your uh, They might have covered it over with that sound. Oh, rice dishes. £7 for your chicken fried rice. It's an old one, it's all faded, look. Yeah. So It passed its um, hygiene information anyway. Yeah, a year ago, over a year ago. It's probably not been open for a bit, has it? The thing is, it's right at the back end of town, isn't it? So, right. What I think we're going to do now is we're going to go and take Chico back because you've had enough, haven't you, Cheeks? It's cold. It's cold and he's tired. We've walked him right from one side of Elgin to the other, haven't we? So we'll take him back. But before we do, I've just seen I've just looked, oh, look at that colour up there, Lisa. What? That is Lady Hill. That's Lady where we were Hill. heading for up there. So yeah, let's get going. The strategy behind it, I wouldn't mind trying that weather spoons out. Yeah. So St Andrews had wines 
and wins. El- wins sorry and Elgin has closers there's loads of them absolutely loads and it's where all the workers used to live down isn't it they used to have houses down them all wow that was just one car Stupid. yeah it scares Chico that. I he doesn't like them do. well I don't like them either I mean it's a pedestrianised area as well isn't it but they must like they must like is that it again? They must do it as, a, as if to say, look at me oh, in my car. A small <laughs> So the one thing we haven't seen here is a Greg's and apparently that's supposed to be a good bakery. Asher's been there since 1877 and I must admit it does look nice, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. But Mark's whining for this um, Weatherspoons. I must admit I can get a coffee corner. Well, yeah, we'll get something from there now and then get Weatherspoons in the bit. I'm not even hungry. Yeah. Sparkle in your eyes, some kind of shimmer in your presence, unlike no other I had met. You got me spinning out of context, not really sure what I should do. This is the reason I am leaving. Such so Chico dropped off back at the van, took his jacket off, and he's had a really good scrub around the van. Yeah, he's having his jacket on, doesn't he? He's drying himself out, hasn't he? He's had his lunch. He's just walloped his lunch down, so that'd be him for about a couple of hours having a quick nap. Yeah. All nice and warm while we carry on walking around. <laughs> Another butcher's. Look at that. Oh, that looks nice, doesn't it? Looks nice, doesn't Chicken it? teriyaki. It looks like they never sell anything, though, then. Yeah. <laughs> but we're just going back up to town because I want to experience Weatherspoons, don't I? Well, a Scottish one, because yeah. they're different to English ones. Well, no, they're not the same, but... Yeah, I've been to a Scottish one. You went to one in... Um, I know, I know Dun- what you're saying, but I'm not having a breakfast, because we've, we've, we've had our breakfast, haven't we? But I want to try something else. See what it's like. I'm just having a coffee, I'm not hungry. Seriously? Yep. Where is it? Here. And then we've got a Giles shopping centre down there. We need some command strips, don't we, for the van? Yeah, some... Yes. What else do we need? Uh, I don't know, but we might need to go look in there, farm foods and something. <sighs> this is why we forget half that stuff. You see food and that's it, it's just food, food, food. Yeah, it's all, all food, isn't it? And guess what, if we didn't eat food, what would happen? <laughs> no comment. No. I've just got to pull this chair out, I've just come in with us, but it's all a cup of fun. It's only a little prick, like someone stabbed me, it's like a nail or an attack or something. Um, crazy it's like a tack or something what to expose so. so we found a booth because mark's hurt his finger on that chair oh, nice. we went right bothered about sitting on it Got a bit now you might have it's like a little tack sticking through so. trust you to find it so yeah, we're in Weatherspoons, it's called, what's it called? The Mickle... Muckle something, isn't it? The Muckle... Muckle Cross. The Muckle Cross. Where we've already seen. Oh yeah, it's the cross that we saw earlier on, we said we didn't know what it was called. So yeah, we've, uh, I've ordered a burger, which is on sale. I can't believe I've got some, again, it's in a sale. Burger, American burger, you've got the double double burger, haven't you? Mm-hmm. So I've got a coffee and you've got a coke, haven't you? Because yeah, we don't drink. Yeah, we don't drink when we obviously got the motor on. Even well, we don't want anywhere because... No you're in charge of a motorhome exactly. and it's not worth it because you never know when you're going to get moved on or if you have to move for some reason so no we never drink alcohol anyway. The last time we, I had a couple of cans were, was on the campsite wasn't it? Yeah. Earlier in the week. Yeah if you're on a campsite then it's all well and good isn't it unless you're driving the next day you never drink when you're driving the next day do you either? No just not worth it because we are in our home all the time now so we've got to be very careful. Uh, wait for this food to come and then we're going to go and find um, where have we got to go and find? Command strips aren't we from oh. somewhere like Pound Shop or something? There's no Primark or anything here and um, there's a big shopping centre but there doesn't seem to be anything in it but we'll go and have a look anyway. So that's what we're up to today and then we're moving on later today aren't we to the next place? Who knows? We'll open the map and just go let's go there. Not bad for a father is it? 
lucky we nearly didn't get it either, did we? Yeah, what did you do, Mark? I pulled it on the app and eventually got it to work and I put my table number in, didn't I? So we sat there waiting for the drinks and we're not getting anything because we went to table number 24 and we're 28. Well done. It's alright, that wasn't it? Spot on. Filled it all. 12, how much was it? 12.69? 12.69, yeah. Two burgers, chips. As you drink. can see, my plate's a lot smaller than Mark's. <laughs> I've, eaten, I've eaten all mine anyway, which is nice. You all right, it, didn't you? What do you like on it, though? Big fat, juicy gherkin. <laughs> I had it. Green again. Don't do green, he only does peas. Oh, it's absolutely baking in that weather spoons. It rotten, oh. then they put the air on, didn't they? It went cold, and now it's warm again. So. I think someone's whinged that it's too hot in there, and then the, the air con on came on, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. All right, wasn't it? 12, 8, 12, 69. All right, then. All right, for a quick snack, isn't it? We're not going to do a food review of weather spoons because it wouldn't be you right. You know what weather spoons you know. food's like, isn't it? It's quick and fast and convenient. Now, this is what I was on about to you, Mark. These little turrets here, there's only three of them exist now. It's where we were, saw the um, the last one, what was it called? Shepherds. Oh yeah, close. Yeah, well these archers, they've yeah. been bricked up actually. These archers used to go all the way down the High Street. And there's only three of them existing in, on the High Street now. They've all near enough gone. Oh yeah. Look, the next here. one's here. This is the one that you saw earlier on. And this one would have been all knocked out here, wouldn't it? Yeah. But the, these uh, shops have come in and oh, yeah. destroyed them all. I didn't realise that earlier, when we were Yeah. Out. Read that on a piece of uh, information down there. All things change and we look after things, don't they? And preserve things in this day and age, don't they? Well, they haven't preserved that much, have they? Because there's only three of them exist now. No, but 300 years ago, when they did oh, all yeah. that, like the old buildings, same all over the country, old buildings, put new, brand new red brick ones next to them, don't they? So, where are we going now? Uh, we still need command strips. Can I get a deep fried Mars bar? No. Look at this. These look well nice. I think the are they biscuits, Mark? No. What are they? Oh I thought they were cakes. It's for Valentine's Day. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's well, coming, Mark. Valentine's Day's coming. Stick it in your diary then. Just another day, isn't it? Don't be letting your loved ones down, get them something nice for Valentine's Day. What if I bought you flowers for Valentine's Day like this, Lisa? And they've got sweets in. I've pinched the sweets out of her, haven't they? <laughs> they wouldn't even make it to me, let alone. I wouldn't even know there would have any sweets ever been in it. So we've just walked up here and we've got... What we don't get is there's a church there. And there's a church there. Different ages, aren't they? Yeah, but why would you build a church next to a church? That's another church of Scotland, Mark. That that's, must be the new church of Scotland. Oh, yeah. But that one's still working, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. That's another bit of the street down there. Are we going down here then? Go down here and cut down so it might be. We saw a sign before for a pound land, didn't we? Yeah, it's around here somewhere. I know it is. What's this say here? Welcome to Elgin. South Street West. You're in. Just telling you where all oh. the streets are, isn't it? Yeah, yeah look, pound stretcher. Tunderton Place. CK Max, which was where we stood now, and then there's a pound stretcher, but where? <laughs> we can't find it. So we've got us bits and pieces, look. Paper plates pound, and plastic cups. Yeah. Just and plastic watching. cups last you ages, don't yeah, they? Because we washed them out. Two months away for her. <laughs> Unless you have any guests around, we've got some more bubble wrap for those precious Northerns on tour cups. That's it. Is that everything? A few things in there, some Durex. No, there's not. Uh, yeah, so no more washing up for me now. Back to the paper plates. Can you hear them seagulls? I know you think we'd be next to the sea. We're, we're nowhere not, near we? the sea. A few miles yet before we got. I don't get sea. why there's seagulls in um, Elgin. Weird. Yeah. It's getting dark again now. We've had us like half an hour of daylight yeah. for the day. <laughs> so we Chico's had a rest for an hour. I've checked him on the camera. He's all right. Is he all right? Yeah. So we'll uh, head back to the van because we need to move on, don't we? Yeah. We're not going far on the next trip, but we're not going to tell you where it is because you have to join us next time. Mm, how, how cruel are we? <laughs> so if you've liked this video, please like, comment, 
make sure you subscribe as well. It's still dead important that you subscribe. <laughs> We're trying to get this percentage down of people that are watching all the about, time, but you're not subscribing. We're back to about, at the minute, when I checked this morning, 49% are subscribed, 51 oh. Right, so if you don't know how to subscribe on your TV, look in the comments, I'll pin it at the top, it explains to you where to go on your TV to subscribe. Mm -hmm. So there's no excuse anymore. So, until next time, we will catch you on the next one.